What's up, guys? I'm Chad. Welcome to episode 12 of Ask Stay Creative. Oh, man, I broke that already. Look with the elbow. Another one of Carter's creations here. Anyway, we are filming this in 360 mode, which means you can see Clutch if you're watching a 360 version of this video. Hi, 360 version of the video. Oh, click here, right on the screen. There's going to be a thing or a link, and then you can watch in 360 mode, I think on Facebook and on the YouTube which is very fun. So you should definitely check that out, which means you can take your device and you can swivel around in your chair and see all the wonderful things that we have going in here in the office. Anything of note? I don't know. If you find something interesting, let us know. On YouTube, Zebby Bricks asks, what does Lego mean to you? Ooh, what does Lego mean to me? That, that's a really good question, actually. I don't know which way to go with this. Lego means limitless possibilities. That's probably the biggest takeaway. It's a medium that can be used in lots of different ways, whether it's to have the vision in your mind and create with it. Um, but then, I mean, I talked about this a lot. I also think that it, the time you spend with it programs your brain in a way that really unlocks some other cool stuff to let you achieve what you want to achieve outside of Lego, but the time spent with Lego allows you to do that. So I'm gonna go with that. I think that's that's the answer for today. On YouTube, Peach Bricks asks, Technic story? Oh yeah, we talked about Technic last time, about the, how there was a uh, little Technic episode. All right, so I got a Technic set, and it's good, it's a holiday time, so it was like holidays, I got a Technic set, and I went to build it, and it was missing a piece. And specifically, it was like a one by 10 Technic brick. It's either a one by eight or a one by 10 Technic brick. Not the lift arms like they have now, but like the brick with the holes in it, right? Chris is gonna put that on the screen so you guys can see it. Um, and it was red, so find a red one there. And it was like some Technic car. And the set was legitimately missing this brick. So it was like that point in the instructions and you know, everyone gets there like, oh my God, I'm missing a piece, but it's either like in a bag or like on the floor or like under the instructions, right? Usually you find it. But in this instance, like legitimately, the piece was not in the set. I didn't have another piece in my collection like it because I was just getting into Technic. So when I brought this to the attention of my parents, I was like, hey, we're missing a piece. Uh, They're like, okay, well we could take it back to uh, Kitty City. You don't even remember Kitty City, right? That was a thing, Kitty City. We could take it back to Kitty City. So we go back and we take it to Kitty City. This is a long drawn out story. So we go back to Kitty City and I overheard, I think it was my mom say that, you know, I think maybe just this set was too hard for him. I don't know if she believed that. And she's watching too. She's gonna be like, oh man, I can't believe you remember the weirdest things. I think what she wanted to do was like, have an excuse to return it. I don't think she really believed that it was too hard for me. At least I don't want to think that. Because it wasn't. And I love Technic. That's the Technic story. It was the feeling I had when I was missing that piece and I really wanted to finish the set. And then maybe even someone believing for a second that it was too hard for me just made me just want to like buy the biggest one there was possible and build that and be like, I am not too hard. I can build this thing. Now it would be like if I was like, if I was building all the time now, I would be all about, I would be like, I'd be like, first, this was before first Lego League. I would have been all about first Lego League and, and all the EV3 stuff. I would have been all up in that. Yeah, so if you want to know more, you know, ask more follow-up questions about that, uh, about, you know, where that ends up going. But I think that's as much as we'll give you for today's episode. On YouTube, Peyton Lester asks, what kind of camera do you use to record all of your videos? Hey, uh, I like this, like a little techie, techie question. So we've got the Nikon, yeah, he's like doing things. You can see, and now you can see with the 3D stuff. All right, so we'll start with the 3D camera. This is the, the Ryko Theta S, which is pretty new. We ordered it the day it came out, and then it took like three weeks for it to show up because they were out of stock really quick. And then over here is our Nikon D5200 with a 55 millimeter lens, no, 18 to 55 millimeter lens, and it is connected to a Rode this. 
the Rode Lav wireless microphone so we get the nice crisp audio action, which is really important. A lot of you YouTubers, audio, man, that is what separates, uh, in my opinion. That's like a big, you could have like really low grade video, but if your audio is good, you will still get, have the attention stay with you. So we try to like, you know, go like medium across the board. I would say it's medium video and probably better than average audio. But we could do more. Like we have a green screen. We haven't even like done anything with it yet. Hey, do something cool with the green screen right now. Be weird. Oh my God. Is, did you see that? Look at the big America flag. He's waving. I don't know. There was like some Jurassic dinosaur. Oh my God, what's going to happen? All right, so now Clutch is going to do some green screen action. That's going to be fun. We could totally amp up the quality. So if you want to see more green screen action, let us know. All right, that's your tech answer of the day. On YouTube, Megamat777 asks, are you looking forward to the new Lego Nexo Knights? Of course I am, Matt. Yes, Nexo Knights. I am. I mean, look, we got a sneak peek when we were at Comic-Con, yes, I'm gonna buy some Nexo Knights set, Nexo Knight sets for sure. And I like that Joker creature. We talked about this in another episode, I think. Castle and, what are we mixing up here? Space. Joker's name is Jestro. Yeah, Jestro. I like Jestro. I'm gonna have an army of Jestros. Where's a great place to go if you wanna buy a whole bunch of the same thing? You know a place you can go if you wanna buy a whole bunch of the same thing? It's because it's called Bricklink. I know, there's gonna be people, it's unbelievable but there's gonna be people that go buy all these sets that Jestro comes in, and then they are gonna put them in their store, and then people like me can be like, you see that Jestro? I want 12 of those, please. On YouTube, Zebby Bricks asks, will you ever help other channels out or have a YouTube area at BrickFest Live? I had a conversation about this today, Zebby. Detailed conversation specifically about YouTube and Philly Brickfest, not necessarily Brickfest Live, but definitely Philly Brickfest. Philly Brickfest isn't a thing without YouTube. And there are people now that we know at Google slash YouTube that we may be able to pull something together. Now I just said all these things out loud, which means there's absolutely gonna be follow up. We can't promise anything, but we do want to have something at the event. Well, first of all, I know we're gonna be doing some live streaming we did that last year, so we'll do it again. And there will be a place where if you do have a YouTube channel or you wanna participate in a YouTube channel, at Philly Brickfest, there's gonna be a specific designated area for that. But at Brickfest Live, what we do now is have the Brick Show experience where, and there's gonna be a new video coming on that that uh, Clutch is gonna whip up. He was already looking for the raw footage today. Fun things. You come in and you have a chance to be on the Brick Show yourself. Yeah, so the YouTube Brickfest Live slash Philly Brickfest stuff is happening and we want it to just get bigger and bigger and bigger and have it really be a feature of all of our shows and you know it's just like a evolution process at this point so we're trying some things out you know we'll see where we are six months from now on youtube the lego wild asks is the lego group part of any of your brick fests the lego wild the lego group is part of philly brick fest that is the only one so far, maybe there will be an announcement soon about another show where Lego would be involved. So Lego only gets involved if it is a adult fan of Lego convention. So that means that there are dedicated days specifically allocated to fans, hardcore Lego fans, mainly 18 and up, that build as a hobby and they need a platform or a place to come together as a group and then show their creations to the public, which is what the public days turn into. So there's a certain criteria that we need to meet in order to have support from LEGO for Philly Brickfest, uh, which all other uh, convention owners do have. So you know what the other conventions are. We've named a couple of them on the show before. But for us, Philly Brickfest is the one that, that LEGO uh, does provide some support for and hopefully we get uh, some Kev Kevin Hinkle action at the 2016 show. All right, well that sums it up. That wraps up our first ever 360 video. That was cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, we got into, we went, went deep, we went way back into like Chad Technic 
history. We talked about some future things. We talked about YouTube plus our events and what that means. I like it. All right, guys. Keep asking questions. Use hashtag Creative. All right, guys. Stay creative. Peace.